one, so go ahead. Come on, let me have it. I know I've been majorly slacking on videos, but it's the holidays and I'll Twitter like, hey everyone, I'm going to do a video today. Then I Twitter and I'm like, would you guys be okay if I didn't do a video? And I get a couple of people that are like, oh, I was really looking forward to it. But then I get a lot of people that are like, it's the holidays, go bake cookies with your family and enjoy it. So thank you for being supportive of me being lazy. Um, it's really great. I don't know. I just... I want to sleep in, so I want to be able to hang out with my friends and all that type of stuff. So I decided that I would do a vlog for you guys today. I don't know when my next video will be up. My next one will be up on my Juicy Star 07 channel, and I know it is going to be a tutorial, and I know what it's going to be. I don't know when I'm going to get around to filming it and uploading it, but after the holidays are over, I'll try to get back in my routine of one-a-day videos. Um, so I wanted to do a vlog today, but I didn't know what I wanted to talk about. Um, so I Twittered it, and a lot of people gave me really good topics, but none of them were like, oh my gosh, I want to do that one. So I don't know what I'm going to talk about yet. Um, tonight, I'm having a friend come over. Her name is Miss Lottie Ray, and doesn't that sound so Southern, Lottie Ray? I love it. Um, but I'm having her come over, and we are watching the Glee special that comes on tonight. Okay, so here's Glee. Um, when you buy the CD, I... I bought my CD at FYE, um, I don't know if those are national or local music stores, but it's FYE, and they gave me this set of magnets. They gave me two of them because I bought two CDs. I bought volume one and volume two, and they are magnets, and I really want a refrigerator so that I can put these on it. I mean, we have a refrigerator, but it doesn't let, it's not magnetic. I don't know, like you can't stick magnets on it. And what good is a refrigerator if you can't put Glee magnets on it? I mean, come on. So anyways, she is going to come over at 6.30 and then we are going to go out to eat. I don't know where we're going to go yet. Um, hopefully Chili's or something like that. I really like that place. I went to Panera last night, so I wouldn't want to do that again. Well, I might be hungry for it by tonight. Um, but so I'm hoping that we go to Chili's and then we're going to come home and the Glee special comes on at 9. I don't remember what the special is. It's some sort of commentary done by the Glee cast or something or meet the Glee cast or something like that. I don't know, but it's going to be really cool. And So if you watch Glee, let me know who your favorite character is. This guy, Puck, on the um, series, his name is Puck. His real name is Mark. I want to say Saling. I don't really remember. Um, he has a video up on YouTube that is called Homage, and it's like talking about how he's so thankful that he's part of the Glee cast and that, you know, it's really tough because they have to work really long hour days. Because think about it, they are not just filming a TV show, they also have to go to the studio to record their songs, and they have to go learn the choreography for their dancing, so it's like, I mean, it's an intense TV show. They said it takes eight days to film one episode, which is a long time, but he talks about how hard they all work, but how in the end it's totally worth it, and there's nowhere he would rather be than chilling on Glee. And it makes me like him so much more even though I think he's 27, so is this guy. These are both, these guys are both 27. Um, I think my favorite character on the show would have to be Kurt, who is him. Okay, this is not a Glee vlog, Blair. Um, I don't know, I just really like Kurt. I think he's really, really funny, and I like his single ladies dance. Come here, Teddy. Come say hi to the camera. Come say hi to the camera. Hi. Hi. What? What? I'm ready for my close-up. People have asked about our Christmas traditions, and Elle did a Christmas tradition tag, and then she tagged me in it, but we have the same Christmas traditions. So I think it'd be kind of pointless for me to answer the same questions, but I'm going to kind of generalize Christmas for my family overall. What we do, well, Thanksgiving, we normally always have a ham, and then for our Christmas dinner, we have a turkey. But this Thanksgiving, we had a turkey like normal people. So on Christmas, we are going to have a ham. But we don't eat our Christmas meal on Christmas. We eat it on Christmas Eve because my mom likes to get everything. She bakes all the stuff on Christmas Eve. We have our big Christmas Eve dinner. Then on Christmas, everyone can fend for themselves. You know what I mean? Like food-wise, she doesn't have to cook. She gets to relax that day. And we have leftovers and stuff like that. So, I mean, that's fun. The earliest we have ever gotten up on Christmas is 3.30, but we usually get up around 6, and we run to my parents' room, and we say, go see if Santa came, go see if Santa came, and my parents are like, okay, yay, and then they go, and they see if Santa came, but really, we all know that they're making their coffee, um, and then they yell, girls, Santa came, and then we run down the stairs, and we 
see what Santa brought us in our stockings and Santa only brings us one present. I know Santa brings other people lots of presents and I don't know my parents get us presents and they're wrapped under the tree and then Santa just brings one present and it's not wrapped. And then we have our stocking that he fills up with little goodies like fruit. Oh reality TV is the best thing ever invented. I swear keeping up with the Kardashians is the funniest thing I've seen in my entire life. This is not a joke. Did you guys see Sunday's episode? Please tell me you did. If not, go buy it on iTunes. O-M-G. It was just really, really funny. I think Keeping Up With Kardashians is my favorite reality show, but I watch a lot of reality shows. I also liked Project Runway and The Hills and The City. The Hills used to be my favorite until I got hooked on Keeping Up With The Kardashians. I watch a lot of TV. When I am not working, um, doing YouTube, making videos, approving comments. Oh, I get asked all the time why I have comment approval on. The answer to that is because there are a lot of people that think it's funny to leave like sick things in the comments. And I know that I have like nine year olds watching my videos. Like the youngest person that I've ever had tell me that they watch my videos or send me an email saying how old they were. They were nine and I get that age a lot so I know that there are a lot of nine-year-olds and they don't need to be reading that on my channel. I know it's the internet and they can see that anywhere but then they can go see it somewhere else. I don't want that on my channel. Um, also I think it's funny when people leave me like the nicest compliment but they use like curse words in it. I don't approve those either. If you say anything bad in it it's not going to get approved. So I spend a lot of time approving comments, but when I'm not on YouTube or working or glitzy glamming, which will be a verb in Webster's Dictionary soon enough, glitzy glamming, the act of working for glitzy glam, I'm watching TV. I know, I know. I could be going out. I could be hanging out with friends. If I'm hanging out with friends, I ask them to come over and watch the newest episode of blah, blah, blah. And they're like, huh, no thanks. And I'm like, okay, see you later. Um, I don't know. I'm a TV junkie. Is that bad? I don't know. Some people are movie junkies. I don't watch movies a lot. The only movies I watch are if I go to the movie theater. And if you follow me on Twitter, you know that's probably like once a month that I do that. So, um, the last movies I saw, well, I saw New Moon more than once. Um, I've seen it twice already and I'll see it again. But I saw New Moon and I saw Blind Side, which was a really good movie and it touched my heart and I really like that movie. Oh! Guys, I haven't talked to you about this yet. Brittany Murphy passed away, which I Twittered it, and a lot of people didn't even know by the time I Twittered it, and it was like a trending topic on Twitter or something. But um, Brittany Murphy passed away. She was the girl who, no one really mentions this movie when they talk about her. I don't know if it's not a popular movie, but it's Uptown Girls. That is one of my all-time favorite movies. Dakota Fanning and Brittany Murphy together in that movie were so good. And I'm, I'm not going to sit here and be like, I was in love with Brittany Murphy and I'm so upset that she passed away, but 32 is too young for anyone to die. So I mean it's not really that I'm like a die hard Brittany Murphy fan, it just really strikes me when someone at the age of 32 dies and I'm not going to talk about why she died, I don't know why she died, I don't, I mean I think I read online that it was cardiac arrest, if that's what it is that's very very sad. Um, I don't really know why it was. I don't know if anyone really knows the real reason of why a 32 year old just died, but um, I don't know. That was sad. That made me sad. That whole day I was like, Elle, I'm really sad today. And she's like, I know, me too. I don't know. It was just a sad day. Um, okay, so I've managed to now get this video to 24 minutes. Okay. Um, so I will edit this down and I'll talk to you guys later. I hope I get videos up pretty soon. I mean, who knows? I might have one up tomorrow. I really don't know. I want to be able to sleep in and kind of just chill, hang out, maybe watch a little bit of reality television. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.